guys learning with rich here in this video after we learn how to generate uh, automatically the layout of our uh, HVAC so this time around we are going to learn how to create and modify ductwork okay so in this exercise we're going to create and modify ductwork in our HVAC system so as a mechanical designer you need to modify the design of the return air system in this building that we are working on by adding a return air duct. So we're going to apply a duct color fill to view the system name as the color scheme. And then we're going to connect four return air terminals to the open-ended return air duct. So I'm going to zoom into this area that we are going to work on. So as you can see, we have here uh, four air terminals. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four return air terminal so to do this we're going to use a common combination of tools such as uh, control grips routing solutions connect into and some justification editor tool in revit okay so let's do this so after learning how we do it automatically remember this is what we did yesterday or on our last video we generate our supply layout automatically so this time around so let us do it manually for our return duct okay so to start with what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select the annotate tab here because I want to put some uh, duct legend okay because I want to apply a duct color field to view the system name of our uh, duct here so I'm going to select duct legend and then I'm just gonna place it here so you click that one and then after that just make sure duct color fill is selected then after that just select OK now after you create the color scheme legend so we're going to modify it so how to modify a color scheme legend because right now so this is how it looks like okay so it's based on the size of the system or the dock of our uh, system so instead of using that I'm gonna use select that and then I'm gonna edit scheme and then instead of using the size of our doc, I'm going to select system name here. So there's the system name and then just select your OK. So the color will now going to be based on the system name. Okay. And then after that, just select OK to apply that now to our model. Let's just wait. It's loading. okay there you go so it's now based on the name of the system so we are going to make this ductwork here so we're going to connect that to our air terminals all right now after editing or after generating our color scheme legend for the duct so i'm going to create a ductwork using color grips and routing solution options so how to do that so as you can see here, I have the return diffuser and then there's the duct here. I'm going to click this duct and then you can see there's the grip, right? So you can use that. You can stretch that one to resize the length of your duct. So you can click that and then you can drag that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this uh, control grip to the center of this uh, air terminal. Okay, I want that to, to be aligned there. So I'm going to drag like that. So just like that. Okay, so it's now aligned. Now, while this duct is still selected, I'm going to hold control and then I'm going to click this air terminal here. Okay, that's the one. So now that I have this select, I have selected these two elements, you will now see a layout panel here and then there's the routing solutions. It offers different routing solutions to connect system components for creating piping or ductwork. So as you can see, routing solution can also apply to your piping if you're going to do your piping. Okay, so I'm going to select routing solutions. And then by default, it has two solutions here. So at the moment, it's showing two of two solutions. If you want to see the other one, you can click that arrow and then it's looks like this okay so it's using a flexible duct here so let's say this is what i want to use so i'm just gonna select finish here to apply the routing solution and there you have it and then select modify 
Now I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then I'm going to select selection box to see that in 3D view. Okay, right click, zoom to fit, there you go. Okay, so that's the one. So let us just go back again to floor plan and then select tile windows here to see that 3D as well. So I'm going to select this section box. There's the section box and then you can actually stretch that one to see that part. So let us just move this up. There you go. So that's the one that we just created. So you can type SD for shaded view. Let's adjust that and there you go. Okay. So this is the one that we just created. Now the next uh, part of the exercise that we'll be doing is we're going to connect our ductwork to this air terminal here. Okay, so another way of creating your duct is by clicking a fitting, like for example this one. Okay, so I'm going to select this fitting here, this rectangular duct elbow. And then as you can see, there is a plus sign that shows here. So you can upgrade that elbow to a T fittings. So let's say, for example, you have an air terminal here. So you can click that plus sign so that you'll be able to create that or convert that to a T fitting. So you can now create another duct here that will connect to this uh, duct that we have here. Okay, how to do that? Okay, so I'm going to click this uh, T fittings and then you see that uh, grip. So just right click that one and then there's an option here, draw duct. Okay, so you click that draw duct and then after that, you now have an option here. Before you click your air terminal, you have an option here to change the type of the duct that you will be creating. It's either rectangular duct or round duct. Okay, in my case, I'll just use a mitered elbow stees. That's all right. And then I'm now going to click that uh, node to connect to the air terminal. Just pick. And there you go. So it's now created. Okay. Just escape. All right. Now, another way of doing this, let's say oh, I want this to be, uh, let's say, flexible dock as well. So to do that, to convert this to a flexible dock, what I can do is, I'm going to select the Systems tab, and then there's a tool here that is called, guess what? Convert to Flex Duct. So I'm going to select this one, and then you select the air terminal. Do not select the duct. So the proper way is selecting the air terminal. Just click that, and this is now how it looks like. Okay. Right, so basically that's, that's another way of connecting your dock to your air terminal. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is here, this portion here. So I'm going to select modify to terminate the convert to flex dock. Okay, and then let's do it here. So I now have another air terminal here. So let me just adjust this so we can see what I'm talking about. This one. There you go. So there's the air terminal. I want that to be connected here. So aside from creating it, uh, clicking, right-clicking, and then selecting um, draw duct. So another way of doing that is you can click the air terminal, and then there is a tool here that is called Connect Into. It creates a physical connection between a selected component and a duct or pipe. Okay, you can also apply this to your plumbing, sanitary, domestic. Okay, if you want to connect your uh, water closet to a duct, oh, I mean to a pipe, so you can use also connect into, okay? So here, I selected the air terminal, and then I select connect into, and then select the duct where you want that to be connected. So just click that, and there you go, okay? And you can also change the justification of your duct. Like, for example, I'm going to click this duct here. I click that. And then I'm going to hold control and then click this duct here. Like that. And then you have an option here that is called Justify. It opens the Justification Editor to align the tops, bottoms, or sides of ductwork, piping, cable tray, or conduit in a section of the system. So, 
if I'm going to select this one, justify, and then these are now the justification that you can use. So at the moment, it's at the middle center. So let's say I'll use the top right. Okay, so I click top right. You see there's an arrow here, middle center. So if I click the top right, so that's how it's look like. See? Right? So you need to finish that. Okay, so you need to finish and let's see what will happen. So click finish. And there you go. So that's now how it looks like. Now it mess up our duct here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select this duct, <coughs> delete. Okay, so we're doing it manually. So let's click this duct here. And then you can, you can adjust that grip. Okay. Resize that. And then you can create from here a flex duct. So click flex dock and then you can now click that one. Connect. And there you go. So there's another way of creating or editing a dock work. Okay. So now for the last one, okay, it's up to you. How do you want this to be to be done? So I can create a dock here. So right click, draw dock. Okay, you can specify the size here. So let's say I want this to be 14. 14 there you go and then I can now click from here there you go so let's see that in 3d view let's adjust this all right so this is now how it looks like is that this one again I can go to the systems and then I can use here convert to flex dock and then select that air terminal there you go. And then select modify. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this air terminal that I have here. Hold control. And then I'm going to click this air terminal below here. Lower right corner. And then I'm going to select selection box. To see that in our 3D view. So you just adjust that. Move up. Adjust from here. And there you have it. Okay. So let's select this one, just click, there you go. All right, okay, so basically that's how you create and modify ductwork. So if you want to have this exercise file, again, just put a comment on the comment section below and then you can put your email address and then I will be sending this exercise file to you so that you'll be able to follow. And if you have time, you can also do the other side here, this one here, okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.